Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another GF's Clash episode today We are back on my main account and today I wanted to do a minor account update while also showing off how the Jacob's Clash clan has been going and then we're of course going to be doing some upgrades and attacks later in the video So as many of you may know if you've been following along with the channel and the account we are very close to being completely maxed, right? We have 156 walls remaining until we have beaten Clash of Clans, at least on the builder front of things. Of course, we don't have the builder's apprentice, but like I've mentioned many times, we're going to worry about that once we get to the Town Hall 17 update. That'll be a video where we just go and gym the entire thing. For the time being, walls uh, do not cost any time, so we don't really need him at the time being. So I'm going to keep the money in my bank account. Uh, from a research lab perspective, uh, let me click this little icon right here. Yes, we are upgrading the bowler and then we are completely done. So in three days and 22 hours, we will have completed or would have completed the entire laboratory until a new update comes out, which is insane, right? Every single time you can finish a little milestone like that, that is incredible. Next thing I want to show off is the pet house, and that is actually going to be the first upgrade we do have today. If we keep scrolling here along the bottom, you'll see a lot of these, most of these, pretty much all of these are maxed level, going all the way to the angry jellyfish, which is our final uh, pet that is not max level. So we are getting angry jelly to level three today. That is pretty much the only thing we are using dark elixir left with, right? Because we had all of our dark elixir troops that we focus on. Now we are pumping every dark elixir we get into this pet house until the jellyfish is maxed out. And then, of course, uh, after that, then I guess we can start pumping some stuff into the forge over here. But what are we doing with elixir and gold? I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but we are just upgrading every single one of these walls. Even though we have the 20% boost by having this gold pass, they still cost a lot, right? 7.2 million a pop. Uh, they are normally 9 million. That is still a lot, but at least in Legends League with the four times, or not four times star bonus, but with the star bonus, with constantly warring uh, and being in Legends League, we are able to uh, at least do around two walls per day. Uh, but as you can see, that is still going to take a while at that exact same right, uh, rate. So we may have to drop out of Legends League and just farm primarily for walls. That might be uh, sometime soon. Next thing I want to show off is going to be the blacksmith. We are going to be doing some upgrades in here today. As you see, we have quite a large stockpile of goodies here at the bottom. 440 uh, starry ores. I saw someone's comment uh, the other day uh, that made me chuckle, right? They, you guys were saying, hey, I will trade my shiny ores for all of your glowy or uh, starry ores. I feel like I would do that. <laughs> I, I am always running short in the shiny ore department. But we are going to be able to get a couple upgrades done today. As you can see, uh, we have all the equipment pieces that we want to be max level at the time being, that we use every single attack at max level. Now we're just upgrading those attacks, or I guess those equipment pieces, that'll help those other attacks become uh, well usable. So I'm going to go over here and upgrade the fireball to not just 14, but on top of that, oh, I thought I was going to be able to do 15. Never mind, I'm not trading all my glowy ores. I need them as well. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I've actually run into this issue in a while. So it looks like I'm going to have to wait a couple days before I can do this upgrade. Uh, but this is going to be a big one, right? Uh, of course, every single time you can go up uh, an additional three levels using those uh, glowy ores and starry ores. If it's an epic equipment piece, you are going to be able to increase both the projectile damage and increase the hero bonus damage. The big one, though, for the Fireball, I believe, unlocks at level 18, or maybe it's 21, where you get the area damage tiles uh, to increase, I believe, up to 6. But as you see, all my other equipment pieces are at the stage where I want them right now. So I guess because we can't do a couple upgrades for our uh, Fireball, we are just going to leave all these ores as is. And that'll actually work out because we'll be able to actually stock up on shiny ores for almost the first time ever on this account, or what feels like forever, right? Uh, next thing, we are going over to the Builder Base. I know a lot of you guys kind of forget about it after you unlock the sixth Builder. I kind of did in, in some respect, but I've also been playing for a long time, right? So we are almost maxed over here as well. We have 36 walls left till we are completely maxed. 
So my plan for today was just to come over here and upgrade as many walls as possible and see if we could potentially even finish the builder base today. That would be pretty sweet. So as you see, we are all the way out of all of our gold and elixir. But look at this. I have a little hack. Look, we have finished the laboratory over here as well. So I really have nothing to spend all this loot on other than doing these upgrades. So I'm not going to waste my time by just clicking every single one. Let's do 4 million in there. 4 million right on this track right as well. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to be able to do the majority of these, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and it looks like in the next month, especially when we get the next couple runes, we will, of course, get some passively done uh, just by claiming some loot and doing some uh, attacks to finish up clan games or even the season challenges. But there you go, folks. We only have... 15 walls remaining till we are completely max over here on the builder base then i will be ready for the next astro builder base tournament and i will not have a rush base at that point which is pretty awesome right i never thought when builder base started out that i would have a completely maxed account over here that's awesome now final thing is i wanted to show off how is the clan going right uh, i've shown this off in other videos but i feel like this should be a dedicated uh, part of this video as well uh, so as you see, the clan started in, I believe, October, or it actually started at the same month that my uh, channel started, which was August of last year, or no, it was, yeah, it was basically August of 2023, uh, but as you see, it, that, it doesn't go all the way back in the records, but at, since the start of 2023, as far as CWL goes, we have one, and that is all we've done. We've gone through the ranks of gold, we've gone through the ranks of a crystal, and really, to be honest, the last one, two, three, four seasons, we have not just got promoted, we have got first place. Uh, and pretty convincingly at that, we're going to try our luck at Masters 1 this season. We're going to have to see how it goes overall. Uh, I'm going to show off the clan profile real quick, or at least who's in it right here. Uh, so we have 45 out of 50 members. If you do want to be part of the, the Jacob's Clash movement of trying to get to uh, Champions League, and you're a Town Hall 16 and want to participate in CWL, make sure to join my Discord. That will be linked in the description. Uh, and you can see uh, in one of the top pages, the recruiting page right there, or even the announcements page, uh, you will see how you can join the clan, or at least apply to join the clan, uh, because we'd love to have you, right? We can uh, slot in 30 Town Hall 16s. We might have some Town Hall 15s, uh, but these are all the members I'm scrolling by slowly that have put in absolute work uh, for the clan, and I appreciate every single one of them. Uh, but finally, let me go and show off how uh, the, the standard wars are going, because that is also a crucial element of just the clan morale, just in general. Uh, because when I tell you drama has started, if we lose a war, people really care about this. Uh, and I, I love that, right? Uh, we are 75 and 18 with three draws out of 96 total wars which is simply incredible, to be honest. And most of these wars, if you look, are pretty much perfect wars as well. 99.94%, uh, 100, 100, 100. Oh my gosh, we lost this war. Was it close? 99.5. So that means we probably 99%ed two attacks right there. All of our draws are perfect wars as well. So look, we are putting in the effort where pretty much all of these are perfect wars. If they're not, there was a valiant effort, right? They're in the 99%, which is great to see. Uh, but yeah, in the last 100 days, I believe we've only lost like four or five wars, if even that, and no CWL wars as well. Oh, look, 112 days ago was our worst war. We did not hit the 99% threshold. What are we doing, right? If that's our biggest problem in the clan, uh, we are doing something right. Uh, but with all of that in mind, we have some walls to grind out. Let me go in and do a live attack right here. Of course, we are in Legends League. I am using my Sui Super Hog attack strategy. I'm loving it with the, the Druids. I know I have been spreading this propaganda uh, for the last couple weeks, but since the Druids came out, I really do find this as a great attack strategy. Uh, so as you can see, we are starting out with just kind of a, a semi-funnel. This attack, this base isn't that good, so I don't really have to set up that much of a funnel. But you can see I'm setting up a kill squad at that. I am going to use a uh, earthquake right in here. Uh, and we are just trying to get this kill squad into the center of the base if possible. 
we're going to use a free spell on uh, all the scary things, uh, mainly those single infernos and things to that nature. Uh, and then with everything else going into the center of the base, I am going to freeze right here, poison right here. And now we can start the rest of the attack on this back side. Uh, we're going to place a druid down. We are also going to place down our warden and our royal champion. And as we see, that pretty much everything that is scary has been taken care of. We're going to pop a early warden ability. Sure, our king and queen have died. Uh, but what is left with the back end of this base? Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot at all. So we are going to place a heal. We're going to place a rage. Uh, and we're just going to basically follow the rest of our troops and make sure whenever they need true or health, we are going to heal them. Whenever we're going up against scary defenses like scatter shots, we are going to freeze them. So in my mind, it is pretty self-explanatory attack. Uh, and the royal champion on the backside with the the royal the, what is the the spirit fox is just absolutely broken. So right now, right once she becomes unfrozen here. We are going to pop down the invis, do a little bit more safety for her, uh, and I am going to pop the royal champion ability, which is the, all the hogs on the backside. We're going to place down cleanup minions on the backside as well, uh, and this should be a three-star on a pretty much max Town Hall 16 with the warden, with the royal champion, with some hog riders running around the backside. Uh, so yeah, this is the general attack that I do enjoy. Uh, I'm going to go and just do one more attack just to see if we have a slightly different base. Maybe a ring base or even a diamond style base just to show it off uh, in a couple different aspects. And then if you guys do want to use this attack strategy, uh, I will make sure to link the attack strategy uh, in the description as well. Just so you guys can try it out for yourselves. But there you go. It wasn't Time wasn't even an issue. We have 35 seconds left over. And come on, Hog Rider or one single barbarian i was like why is this taking so long there we go first attack done now look at the bonus as well uh, if you get 100 percent bonus in legends league this is without even the star bonus bonus uh we are receiving 900,000 per raid uh and almost 10,000 dark so that's pretty solid on a 10 attack uh ra ratio or not 10 attack you have seven attacks per day so let's just say you get around 6.5 million of each and that's why I was saying you get give or take two walls per day. Some walls, it's more. Some uh, days, it is less. Uh, so uh, we also, I guess, have to throw in wars into that perspective as well. But let's see what the next base holds for us. I'm hoping I have a full army. I just went full muscle memory into the attack right here. Wow. Okay, I was going to show this attack, but I think I'm just going to end the video right here. I don't think you need to see a Town Hall 16 murder a Town Hall 14. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.